type of vehicles and uh, other armaments here in the United States of America. But this is case in point how they're not supposed to be used. You're not supposed to use these to terrorize an innocent person. You're not supposed to use these to tear gas uh, peaceful protesters. You know, things did hair turn Harry and Ferguson. But when I first got there, there were people peacefully assembled in the streets and cops were aiming guns at them uh, with laser dots on their chest. Surprisingly, that didn't make it on any mainstream news outlets. Thousands of prisoners mistakenly freed early in Washington state. And this documents how about 3,000 prisoners were released early because I guess at uh, a time back in 2002, they were running a program letting people off for good behavior. But when the program ended, they were still allowing people to get out early, uh, even though they said it wasn't good and proper, which really begs a very ethical question in my mind. If you release somebody from prison, how can you really expect them to go back and say, oh, we made a mistake. You need to go back to prison. If these guys were nonviolent offenders, they, if they let them go, they just need to let them stay gone, especially if it was some nickel and dime drug charge and just let them go on with their life. Now we're going to end talking about some political news. If you like uh, social media and you like to swipe left, swipe right for uh, Twitter or excuse me, Tinder, now they have Tinder for politics. And it documents how there are about 46 million voters in the millennial generation who did not vote in the midterm election. So one developer created Voter. And it's a smartphone app designed to motivate millennials to engage in the political process. And you can download the app and you answer a few questions like, what are your views on marijuana? Should we abolish the death penalty? So on and so forth. And it's just like Tinder. You swipe left, you swipe right. And it gives you the people who most closely align with your political beliefs. Now, once again, I haven't used this thing personally. So a buyer beware if you do download the app. But you know, it's something interesting and may get people a little more active in politics. And one person who is very active in politics, Donald Trump. And we see a poll saying that many people would not embrace Trump as president, and actually some would be embarrassed if he did become president. Now, to be fair, the majority of the people who said that are Democrats. So you got to take that with a grain of salt. But we had a chance to speak to somebody earlier today. Uh, the guys did talk to, I guess, what we we're referring to as Trump girl. Uh, she was somebody who's wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt. She's a Donald Trump supporter. And she's going to tell us why she supports Donald Trump, because they keep saying he's anti-women, he's this, he's that. And once again, I'm not on the Trump campaign. I'm, if the, the, if the uh, election happened tomorrow, I would not personally vote for the guy, but to each his own. She's going to break it down all to us coming up in the next segment. But stay tuned. We have many more special reports coming up after that right here on the InfoWars Nightly News. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Shane Steiner's involvement with InfoWarsLife.com truly happened in an organic way. I went to high school with Shane, his brother, knew his parents well, and he was visiting the office once, hadn't been to the office in years, and said, wow, I notice you're making and selling supplements. Do these really work? Because I've tried a lot of supplements as a, a workout enthusiast, and I really think most of them are hype. And I said, here, take some home, try it. Well, a few weeks later, he came in blown away and said, I want to buy three boxes of this stuff to give my friends and family. It's simply amazing. He said, why does it work so well? And I said, listen, go to InfoWarsLife.com, watch the informational videos with Dr. Group and others. They understand how it all works. I know that it works for me. That's all I understand. The science, the facts, the research, people's testimonials, they're all on InfoWarsLife.com. You can check it out for yourself. I wanted to go to the gym. I wanted to push myself and work out harder. And that led to me being able to come out and do stuff like the barefooting and the surfing and stuff like that, which one I would have never done. I, I never would have done that uh, two years ago. Shane has said over and over again, more than just libido and energy, it made him want to get into the gym more. It made him want to get in better shape. And believe me, the Steiners have amazing genetics. Uh, his brother is a world champion steer wrestler. His dad, Bobby Steiner, is a famous world champion bull rider. They've got natural genetics. But when you added this to the mix, in Shane's own words, it took him to the next level. Shane noticed the mental clarity. 
Bobby was able to work out longer and gain muscle mass. He's already completely shredded. I gotta admit, for me, the biggest effect has been libido. Now, I've never claimed to have a body like some beach model, but back when I was 20, 22 years old and worked out every day, I looked great. But over the years, and being married, and having three kids, and working 18 hours a day, I gained basically 100 pounds. And it's been a long process of losing that weight in the last four years. But if you look at the photos and the videos of what I looked like four or five years ago versus today, the results are dramatic. I'd already cleaned up my diet, I was working out hard, but I'd only lost about 20 pounds. It was adding the other key ingredients ingredients from InfoWarsLife.com that helped me personally go to the next level and shed another 35 pounds. This has actually made me feel so good that uh, here lately, about a year ago, I started training jujitsu and that kind of led to doing some boxing and kickboxing. I mean, it's, it's amazing that two years ago I was on the couch and couldn't even tie my shoes. And now I'm training with MMA fighters and uh, just doing stuff that I never thought that I'd, I would be doing ever again. So Super Male Vitality has allowed me to do some amazing things. And if it has those kind of effects for me, I know that it will do great things for you. So just try Super Male Vitality. I promise you, you'll love it. And finally, let's look at Anthony Gucciardi, Infowars.com reporter. He also works with Dr. Group and others helping develop the newest, most cutting edge, high quality supplements. Let's take a look at what happened when he tried to barefoot ski for the first time with the Steiners. And remember, we're not making fun of him. He had the will to get in the arena and he's lost more than 10 pounds in the last few years of fat and gained more than 10 pounds of muscle and Anthony chalks it up to super male vitality as well. Bottom line, folks, you want to discover the power of super male vitality and super female vitality for yourself by visiting InfoWarsLife.com today or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. I guess one of the thumbnail, the thumbnail of the video is a young lady wearing one of our own Hillary for pl Prison t-shirts. There, there it is right there. And her name is uh, Linda Lashage. Lashage, is that how you say it? I believe Lashage. so. We're, I'm calling her Trump girl now. Trump girl, yeah. So we're going to have her on in a little bit to talk about why she did this. But just, uh, you know, and, and she did it because her uncle, I guess, is a fan of InfoWars and, you know, uh, bought her a shirt. And so she decided to get active, get off the couch and go do something. And then she's interviewed by the media. She gets to put out the idea about the left-right paradigm. I mean, all kind of stuff just happens just by wearing a shirt to an event. Yeah, it's an amazing shirt. I mean, that's why I always encourage people to go and pick one up because, you know, when I wore it. I Show wore them the it. shirt. There it is. Right there. <laughs> Doing my Superman. <laughs> you know, I wore it back to the Trump rally. Had a right. state innovation of yeah. about like 10,000 people. Everyone wanted to take pictures, you know, get in a conversation, debate over it, whether they liked it or not. Everybody there obviously liked it outdoors, not so much. And then we went to the Hillary Clinton rally. And mm -hmm. then I wore it there amongst the wolves. Yeah. You know, and there was a lot of supporters on the outside of the fence that were there. So, I mean, it's a great shirt to stir up debate, talk about issues. And uh, it's really awesome to see the people smile when they see it because you can tell who's not a lifeless soul walk around like some zombie that's just really ready to vote for Hillary. Totally, totally agree. We're going to get into some TSA news uh, as well coming up. And also, I want to take your phone calls. Uh, we're going to take in the second half of the hour. Maybe Joe will stay and, uh, and join me on that. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231 is the number to call in. And uh, we're also going to play, I think we'll play your video from yesterday that you guys went out and shot asking people if they want to the bring in. The Yeah, they want to bring in unvetted Syrians. And they all said, yeah, yeah, let's do it. They signed the petition. Some of them even said, in fact, uh, during the break, I want you to go grab that petition so we could show it to people. And some of them even checked that they wanted to uh, house, house them. them. Yeah. You know, a lot of people were like, I can't do it. I'm, I don't have any, I don't have any room. I'm the too best, poor, but bring them in, bring them in. The best one was from San Francisco. Like, she's like, no, I, we live in San Francisco. San Francisco's too full. We don't have any more room for people. So you, you've got room to bring in people and make them homeless, but there's no way. Let's right. bring in homeless people and not give them any shelter then. <laughs> well, speaking of bringing people in, let's bring our guest on. She's joining us via video Skype. She's a junior studying engineering at Michigan State University. She's a, a first time voter. She's 20 years old. So this will be her first election. So she's getting in. Um, you know, at, I guess the first chance she could get in. I remember, I think I was able, 18 when I was able to vote the yeah. first time, and that was a Clinton election. That's how old I am. Um, 
But uh, anyway, let's bring her on. Her, her name is Linda Lachage. Uh, Linda, how are you doing? I'm good. It's Lachai. Lachai. <laughs> All right. There you go. Oh, so it, it's, it's, uh, it's a silent I at the end of the J. Lachai. So, yeah. Linda, tell us why you decided to wear the Hillary for pl Prison shirt to that Trump rally. And uh, talk about, you know, I know you got interviewed by the media, but what were other people coming up and saying to you? Well, I decided to get the shirt when I was buying Deep Cleanse as a conversation starter. And I've worn it a lot of places. I've worn it around campus. And I decided to wear it to the Trump rally um, because I know people there are awake and I wanted it as a conversation starter. You know, when I wore it around campus, a lot of people just laughed it off. And until I started talking to them about it and about it, about why Hillary should be in prison, about the Benghazi scandal, and about her emails in the video. And um, it really amazes me how not awake the general public is. Oh, well, they're too busy but, about issues of no significance. You know, they're concerned about yeah. Star Wars. Or what's, what uh, was his name? Uh, or whether we could say or, White Christmas or not. I mean, or, or Schlong yeah. by uh, Donald Trump. Right. I think it's. I think it's the political correctness wave that's going on that people are scared to take a stance. Yeah. So they'd rather be sheep and not say anything and not be involved. And people look both ways before they um, talk so what because do, they're scared of offending someone. What do students say to you uh, around college campus? Because my, my experience at college campuses here in Texas, like at UT, uh, they're super liberal. They uh, love uh, Hillary Clinton. They're ready for her. Like, I'm ready for a brand new gun for Christmas. So uh, what kind of uh, responses do you get there on campus? I get a lot of laughs. I get a lot of told that I'm racist and that um, I have it all wrong. But um, I try to enlighten them and tell them, are you involved? Are you really educated? Do you... Um, watch the committees that are taking place trying to um, investigate in the Hillary Clinton Benghazi scandal. And most of the time people say that they don't believe it and they think that it's a Republican scam to try to bring her down. Yeah, that's the way they always frame it. Anytime somebody is caught doing wrong, Republican or Democrat, they say, oh, it's just politics. It's really not anything. Lying, right. killing people, it's all politics. It has nothing to do with you know real life. And if, if we were to do the things that Hillary Clinton has done, we would all be in prison. Oh, exactly. That's, and that's just that's just right. it, you know. And and talk, you know. I guess you're going through this political correctness stuff, being on campus. When when I was in college in the '90s, it was there, but not nearly as bad as it is now. I mean, it's off the hook now. And and now we we had this story come out from Paul Joseph Watson coming to America. China introduces credit score for obedient citizens. And th what's happening now at your colleges is what's going to come to the rest of us. It's going to be a bunch of ninnying, whining people, trendies, running around telling you what you can say and what you well, can't it's, it's say. It's a citizen report card. It's no longer exactly. a report card for your it's education, your but it's your permanent record report card about how you act. Linda, are, what kind of stuff are they doing uh, just in general, not necessarily to you, but like at your school? Have they banned the word Christmas? Have they banned uh, uh, Christmas decorations? Have they banned certain sayings? What, what are they doing at your school? Not necessarily. I don't really see much of that. I just see um, the students more so being quiet, the students not wanting to engage in um, talking about the news more people um, like to talk about the latest trends or um, what's going to happen on E! News. A lot of people aren't involved in um, knowing what is happening in the government, nor do they want to be. That's why, but I was actually very surprised because when I, when I went to the Trump rally, we drove about three hours to go there. There was a lot of young people there. So I was very pleased about that. Yeah, you know, I found, especially with the internet, People who really want to get informed and who aren't just interested in, in the, the basic American culture, you know, that pop culture out there, are able to get the information, get informed, and get active. Because I, mean, I tell you, the tools that are out there with the Internet now, you can really reach a lot more people than you could with just, you know, standing at a street corner. Well, what I don't get is how people are so, you know, into the pop culture stuff, though, because of the drama. Guess what? Get into politics. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of backstabbing. It is better than reality TV. It is reality. It is happening, and it affects your future and everyone else's. So I, I just don't understand why pe more people aren't really into the politics, why they aren't, you know, 
just diving in and trying to find out about what's going on. Because it's better at the end of the day. I mean, who cares what Kanye West or Kim Kardashian do? That's ridiculous. Exactly. And 